So, the long promised update. Uh, sorry it took me so long to get back to this, guys. Uh, I did put up a video on how to apply thermal paste. That's the previous video. Go ahead and check that out. Do I still like Linux? I do, very much so. It's incredibly stable. Since my last video, you know, it's pretty much been proof of that fact because um, I haven't even touched it. I haven't even logged into my first miner, the 5850 miner. <laughs> the only time I did was last night to monitor temperatures uh, just to compare with the new miner while I set up and I was tuning it to see what, sh what I uh, should keep it under. And I haven't had any dips or drops in hash rate. Uh, it's just been chugging along beautifully. Been doing very well. I'm very pleased with it. Also, the 5770, uh, my new setup, uh, just got that set up last night. It is operating beautifully. Uh, I've got a video to show you guys that right here. Four 5770s, the same Simpron 140, same motherboard as that guy. That's my 5850 setup, and uh, even same power supply same hard drive. The only thing different on this was the, uh, the video cards. And you can see I've got dummy plugs set up because these cards don't have dual crossfire connectors. So you can't do a four-way connection. Uh, the other thing you'll see, I have a lot of shims going on here. I've got Molex connectors stuck in there. I've got these two uh, crossfire connectors shoved in between the cards. This is because the HIS 5750s, the screws on the back of one card, let's see if I can get some light on there for you. The screws on the back of one card, you see two of them there, protrude into the fan on the card in front of them. And uh, keep the fans from running. So the only way to fix that was to separate them like so, and I just pray that. Uh, just hope that doesn't that doesn't tear up my PCIe slots. <clears throat> it should be fine. Uh, and of course, we still have the 5850 set up over here, mining beautifully. Um, right now, between these two, I'm getting 2,300 mega hashes. I'm getting 2.3 giga hashes consistently, pretty much constantly, on my mining pool that I'm on right now. I'm very pleased with the setup. Uh, it's Linux again, headless. Um, I'm probably going to take this extra dummy plug and pop it in there so that I don't have to have the monitor plugged into it at all. Uh, and I think that I'm getting another miner next week. Uh, probably going to do another 5770 setup. I was very pleased that uh, I was able to, at stock voltage overclock, to 1050 um, and getting 233 mega hashes at that clock. Uh, unfortunately, I was only able to do it stably on the bottom card. The other three are at 1,000, which is still a high overclock. Um, and they're getting 219, 220. So I'm going to try to get up to maybe, you know, <clears throat> uh, 10, uh, 20 or something, somewhere in between. Uh, I just don't want to do that yet. I'm going to give them, let them, I'm going to let it work for a week or so and then come back to it. Um, but that's the setup as it is now Linux, Ubuntu uh, 11.10. And uh, it's really nice. I'm really enjoying it a whole bunch. Um, definitely would recommend this setup to anyone else. I really honestly just followed my setup guide on my blog, which I'll link again in the description here to get this set up. That's it for the uh, 5770 setup. Uh, definitely the way to go, 5770s. You know, I would recommend, again, I'll, I will always recommend 5850s, 5830s first. But only if you can get them at the right price and not secondhand. I don't recommend ever buying used hardware for this. This is uh, not just for gaming, this is an investment that you expect to get a return on. You know, if you're gaming, it's one thing, but this has a cost to it, and so you can't be sure that you're going to get uh, your money back. Also, you don't have a warranty on used card. 5850s are great if you can get them at 180 or less. The 5830s are great if you can get them at 140 or less. I guess you could do 150, but it's just going to take you longer to pay off that investment. 140 is really the top end on the 5830s. If you can get 5770s for anything less than uh, 120, uh, that's golden. Those are great cards. They do about 230 mega hashes each, 
and at that price that is more than worth it. Um, the one thing that I've I guess you know figured out here is that uh, setting up Bitcoin mining operations is not easy. Uh, this is certainly not something for uh, your average Joe to get into and uh, it took myself la uh, combined between two days I took a break um, because I didn't have internet for the second one. I needed to go buy a switch. Uh, I probably spent an hour um, on installing Ubuntu, and that was autonomous. I didn't do anything. It just took an hour's time to uh, be, to accomplish. And uh, getting it set up, tweaking the cards, flashing the biases, trying to find the right, uh, the right clock uh, that's stable in the right settings in Diablo Miner, uh, that took about five hours so again not something that's quick and uh, I did have to update a bunch in that process so I guess that's part of the install uh, that took a while so you know this is a high barrier for entry in mining and there's also a high barrier for entry just in use so I think that someone out there is going to have to make this easier to use for more adoption that brings me to my next point I don't think that Bitcoin has to see widespread adoption to be profitable for a lot of people are scared that Secret Service is going to come shut it down. A lot of people are scared that uh, the bottom's just going to fall out of the basket and the price is going to drop. I don't think any of that's going to happen. Uh, the most likely scenario is Secret Service will try to shut down the exchanges, and that'll be a cat and mouse game. So there will always be exchanges somewhere that you can get to, uh, even if they're down for a little while. But this is just going to make it harder for normal users to use Bitcoins in which case, pretty much the only people left using them are going to be people who are using them for nefarious reasons, drug dealers, money launderers, etc. And that's going to do nothing but drive the price up. At least that's my opinion. Uh, and so, uh, Bitcoins are distributed. There's no way to shut that down. It's not going anywhere. Um, and so it's here to stay, and I think the price is going to continue to rise. Um, on that note, we are about to hit the next difficulty increase. It's going to be 46% increase. Uh, definitely buy some bitcoins. Every time we have a difficulty increase, the price goes up. Don't be the guy that forgot that. Anyway, that's all I had to say uh, today. I hope you enjoyed the video. Comment, like, subscribe, and all that stuff. And uh, leave me comments down below if you have any questions, and I will try to answer them as quick as possible. Thanks so much.